Okay. I know I'm gonna look like pretty disgusting after pinning my hair up, but you know how it's winter time right now, and man, it's been so hot lately. Like in the daytime, it's been so hot, but I can't even switch on the fan because like it's gonna interrupt the video. So, and there there's already like a lot of noise. So, anyways, face. Let's start the video. So this is a Nike haul, and I love Nike hauls. Like watching them making them and i think even my hauls do pretty good so now i have to uh kind of divide this video into two parts because i have more than 50 products and uh i think the video is going to be like two hours long so might as well break it into two parts so first is the makeup and the second would be the skincare and hair care edition so yeah let's start let's start with foundation so i have two drugstore and two high-end so starting up with the drugstore foundations this is the Too Faced true match foundation now i don't know what anybody says but then this is the best foundation in the market like i don't feel i don't think even a high-end foundation can beat what this does like this covers up a lot on your face and it also kind of gives this nice glow and uh it has a little bit of shimmer particles in the foundation but it's not chunky it's very fine and this is actually a restock because i finished one foundation already and this is the second time i'm getting this foundation so you know how good it is next is the maybelline fit me 128 warm nude again this is a restock i've already used this foundation before i finished the bottle and i think for an everyday foundation this is amazing i think it does a great job and uh yeah, but actually I did not get it myself. My mother-in-law gifted it to me. Like it came in my wedding um, thingy where, you know, you get makeup. So it came into that and I was about to get this foundation. I already got it. So yeah, that's amazing. Now, moving on to the high-end foundations. First is the Too Faced Born This Way. Now, um, my makeup artist uh, used this on my engagement and it looks super good on my skin. It was dewy. It was very nice. And... Um, so I got this foundation myself and I, I am in the shade uh, Light Beige. Now, uh, this foundation really gives you full coverage. I'm wearing this foundation right now and I did a medium coverage. I did not want to cover up everything, but it's definitely buildable to full coverage. And I also use this foundation on my wedding day. So it's kind of special to me. The next foundation is the Max Stu um, Max. <laughs> mag studio fix spf 15 i am in the shade nc 35 now this foundation is very matte it's full 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 coverage and uh, i think this is like the least used foundation in my collection because this is so full coverage and it's so matte i always prefer dewy foundations but i think somebody who likes matte foundations and likes full coverage this is the foundation for you like this is the foundation for you but I am more of a dewy foundation person. But I still do use it sometimes. Next up, concealers. So I have two concealers. Both of them are drugstore. Okay, I don't prefer um, high-end concealers. Like, I just feel it's a waste of money because I use it every single day. So this is the first. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Cover uh, Concealer. And this is the concealer that I've been using lately. Like, I use it every single day. And I love this. Like, I love this concealer. I think I still feel why didn't I not use this before? Like, okay, so the next concealer is the Maybelline Age Divine. Now, I have actually picked out a shade that is lighter than my skin tone because I use it as a highlighting shade. Now, um, this is again a restock. Like, okay, I keep restocking things a lot because, like, I have the things that I love and, like, I would want to try out new things but I also kind of keep restocking this and sometime I realize that oh my god I have too much makeup and I can never this like never finish this in a lifetime. Also mind this I got all of this makeup for my wedding so that's a different thing otherwise I wouldn't actually get so much makeup altogether. Now for my powder I only got one. Why do I sound like I only got one like obviously people do only get one. Anyways so I got the MAC Studio Fix I got it in the shade NC30 and uh man i have been loving this like i always knew that there was a hype of this in the market but i never knew it was so good like it's amazing like it's like one of the best powders i've ever used so i think you should try it out although i personally feel that it's very expensive for a powder 
Should we do eyeshadows first? Because like, I think that I really like eyeshadows a lot. Up, I have the Too Faced um, Born This Way Natural Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Now, look at this. You know how pretty is this? And actually, people would say that these are just neutrals. But like, I personally prefer neutrals. I wouldn't actually do such a dark eye makeup look. Like, I just did it for like a makeup look. Like the mob vibe aesthetic. I'm not sure if the video is out or it's gonna be out. But yeah, I did it for that. But man, this palette is so pigmented. It's so nice. It has all the shades that I use. So yeah, I think this palette... I can have this palette and I don't want anything else. Like, it's that good. I actually got two palettes. So the next one is the Jaclyn Hill. I have always wanted to get the Jaclyn Hill palette, but I never got a chance to. So this time I got it. And uh, yeah, it's like paint colors, I know. And um, I actually got this because I don't have like colorful eyeshadow palettes. And I thought maybe sometime I would want to try out some colors. And it also has my trust in neutrals. And then it has the colors. So I think this, I think if you, if like, you know, you like a lot of eyeshadows, natural and colorful, I think you should definitely get this palette because it has like everything from your black to your white, to your neutrals, to your pinks, to your colorful, to your purples. It has everything. Oh. Actually, for the first time ever, I got a liquid eyeshadow that I never thought I would get because I just personally always felt that liquid eyeshadows are a little bit tacky, but man, I love this. Okay, so this is the Swiss Beauty um, liquid eyeshadow. And you, you see, it looks like this uh, copperish reddish shade, but man, so I just do a little bit of this and then I just tap it and you see the little shimmer that it gives and man this is such an amazing eyeshadow like see i've already finished this much like in the span of like a month so you know how good this is next up continuing with the eyes let's start with a coal okay so i was never a kajal person like i would never apply like coal on my eyes but 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 i've stopped applying eyeliner like for the makeup but i've stopped up like eyeliner i've only been using like kajal with like some really nice mascara and man my eyes have looked so my eyes look so big it, they look so defined they look so beautiful like i think if you are an eyeliner person try cola out like like start with a thin line and you will love it so this is the smashbox always on gel eyeliner now i wouldn't say this is the best coal out there because like it does stay on for a pretty long time but it doesn't stay on for like the entire time it's not like you have to remove it from a makeup remover like it it kind of wears off in some time like maybe in like five six hours but for five six hours it's a good um Cool. moving on i got two eyeliners so this is the lacme insta liner this is the cheapest eyeliner out there and this is also one of the best eyeliners you can ever get so i already have the black and the green and i also got myself the gold because i feel that the gold eyeliner really like brings out your eyes sometime and then i got the elf eyeliner pen in um coffee which is like a brown shade because i have recently been liking brown eyeliners more than black eyeliners so yeah this is also a very nice eyeliner next up moving on i got two mascaras one is a restock so the l'oreal voluminous lash paradise i finished one of these foundations and i loved it so i got myself another one although this stays on for too long like if you are not removing it from an oil it does not come off like it's so hard to remove this so it's good when you are going in water or like sweaty area or like if you sweat a lot or like you know water is involved then that this is a good eyeliner but i personally prefer a washable eyeliner for everyday use for when i go to weddings and stuff i use this but on an everyday basis i'm using this one this is the sephora outrageous extension dramatic volume and length mascara now this one actually does not stay on for very long um i think for four hours it's good but after four hours it kind of starts dropping a little bit of like the black flaky things but um it is actually a very 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 good mascara like this the one and um if you just if you just want to wear it for like 
pictures or maybe if you're shooting a video or if you just want to go for to some place just for like two three hours i think this is a good eyeliner and it's also very easy to remove so plus points for that yeah now moving on to blushes i have three blushes and i know it's a little bit of an overboard but it's fine so one of them is a drugstore blush that i've been using every single day and i love it so much it's dewy it's nice it stays on for a little while and it is so good and it is a cream blush makeup revolution super dewy uh, liquid blush this stays on for so long this is so dewy i mean okay it does not stay on for very long but it does does stay on for quite a while and it's super dewy it's amazing it blends in so easily it has this moussey texture and man i love this the next is the rare beauty blush in happy now my friend minu used to have this and um, she always raved about this this blush is obviously a cult favorite blush and um, i've already tried it before so I wanted to get one for myself. I got it in the shade Happy, which is their best seller, and it's also like a pink shade. I used to be a coral, um, you know, blush girl, but now I am definitely a pink eyeshadow girl, a pink blush girl. And the next one is a powder blush. Now this is um, the Mac uh, powder blush, and as you can see, it has uh, I don't know if you can see this, but it has a little bit of shimmer particles into it and sometimes i like this blush like um uh, if i'm like going to a wedding or something i would definitely use this because it has a little bit of shimmer particles so it gives you like this nice very very nice glow moving on to contour um i was using the hula bronzer but it actually did not lift my face up so i got the Too Faced born this way multi-use sculpting concealer and um uh, so it says that it's it can be used to conceal, contour, highlight, and retouch. And uh, mind this, a little goes a long way. And this is actually this actually looks so natural. I'm in the shade Mocha, and uh, yeah, a really good uh, contour. Uh, moving on, then I got uh, myself a highlighter. Um, I, although I had the Too Faced highlighter, but then um, I really wanted to try this highlighter out because I you I tested it out on the store, and man, it was so good this is the rare beauty um uh, this thing highlighter in the shade mesmerize okay i mean it is a little expensive but um it actually is so nice it's like one of those dreamy highlighters and i really love it so also um it is very pigmented so yeah Next up is the Max Strobe Cream. I have gotten myself bottles and bottles of this, but I always got the 15 ml tube because I personally felt that this is so expensive. Like I think this is a 32 or 3600. So I felt this was very expensive, but this time I got the 50 ml because like I keep restocking that. So might as well get a bigger bottle of it. So yeah, and I got it in the shade Peach Light. I always get Pink Light, but I personally feel that Peach Light looks much more natural and much more nicer on your skin but i think i mean it's personal choice okay i totally forgot i also got a um, primer this is the maybelline dewy primer fit me dewy and smooth primer and uh, this is again a restock it's an amazing primer it gives a very nice glow and i think that if you're looking for a primer that's dewy this is the one for you next up is the anastasia beverly hills um eyebrow pomade this is in the shade dark brown and uh, i think always people keep telling me that why don't you fill your brows why don't you fill your brows you're like your brows look a little weird they have like spaces in them so i got myself this and um, i mean it is uh pretty expensive but this is a four gram pod so which means it's gonna like i'm gonna use this my life like lifetime because this is actually it looks like a small bottle but then you also have to use a very small amount so it's gonna last me a very very long time now moving on to the setting spray i have been using mac for a while but i wanted to try something new out and i heard very good things about the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray so i got myself this i have used it once before and i feel that it does leave your skin pretty glowy and it does set your makeup and your makeup would last very very long so i think you should definitely try it out 
lastly in the makeup category we have lipsticks and a lot of them starting off with i got the nika lip stone lie eye line uh, lip liner in the shade pillow fight this is a restock i think this is uh, i'm getting it for the third or fourth time i have been obsessed with this for a while and it is very nice if you want to check the shade this is how it looks like all in all a very good lip liner and very affordable i think it's just for like 200 rupees and on discount you even get it for cheaper so for lipstick i have the gucci um rouge lipstick in the shade valeria rose now this is such a beautiful lipstick like you see it ha it is a rosy brighten your face up sort of a shade and i love this got the lacme absolute lip mousse now i used to use this other lacme lipstick and i used to love it and they discontinued that lipstick so i thought i'd get myself this one but it's not very similar but it's still a nice shade it's um pretty mauvey i'd say next up i got myself the chambord uh, 482 lipstick i've used uh, one of my, uh, like my friend used to use this wreath if you know her and um so this is the shade it's pretty dark but it really looks very nice on your lips like i would never personally wear such a dark lipstick but it really looks very nice on your next up are the huda beauty lipsticks i got them in this bag it's a combo set but these are like full size lipsticks so one of them is trophy wife which is one of their best sellers i haven't used it up till now but um i mean i do see myself using it a little bit maybe like on indian wear and the second shade is icon which is also their best seller i've had icon before and i'm restocking this one so this is also a pretty dark shade but it looks so good on indian wear man like there are some lipsticks that are actually made for indian wear and this is one of them lastly we have two lip glosses one is the maybelline lifter gloss i've always wanted to try this out and uh, i finally got myself this one uh i don't think you can see it because it, it's not very pigmented like but amazing gloss like it's such a nice gloss and i definitely get the hype so this is in the shade um okay so this is in the shade 003 moon and um this is the shade i personally love it and the next one is the k beauty's lip oil which is so hydrating like I actually don't use it as a lip oil. I I mostly use it as a lip gloss. But it smells so nice. It's so lightweight. I love it. Okay, so that was it for the haul. Um, I hope you liked it. And uh, this is the part one. The part two is coming very, very soon. Maybe in like two, three days. So hold on to that. And yeah, that's it. I hope you liked it. And a disclaimer, I'm not trying to show off or anything. I just got it as my wedding makeup and um, i am personally a person who loves getting new makeup trying out new makeup if um you are not that sort of a person i totally get it but if you are my kind of a person you get why i, I love shopping so much but yeah that's i think it's also a personal choice more preferably anyways i hope you liked it please subscribe to my channel support your girl and uh yeah good night